You remember when Hillary Clinton spent $10 million on fireworks because she thought she was going to be the first female president of the United States, and then she lost? What happened to all those fireworks? I don't know, and this is totally circumstantial. The Antifa sure has a shitload of fireworks from somewhere that they're shooting into buildings and at crowds and stuff. and set things on fire. So who knows? Who knows? I wouldn't doubt it. Her celebratory fireworks end up setting cities on fire. It's something that this smug, satanic lady would do. You know, just to get a little extra hackle out of it. <laughs> Money well spent. We're going to burn the city down. They don't care about America or you. All they care about is themselves. They just use the government as a giant ATM machine to F you in the a-hole as they rob you blind and tell you it's good for you. That's Republicans and Democrats most of the time. But we got an outsider. And he's kind of a buffoon. And he's orange <laughs> for some reason. Spray on tan or whatever, I don't know. Maybe he's just really freckly, who knows? But he ain't part of that gang. Kushner's are, to a degree, a man. Nothing. You're talking about the crime boss of Boston. Who, by the way, if you dabble, dabble into Kerry, whose last name isn't really Kerry, uh, John Kerry, head of the Armed Service Committee, and then later the head of the Department of State, after Hillary, right? Like this, with the vulgar family, as was... Dun, 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 Robert Mueller, who, you know, went on this whole It's Russia escapade, right? They've been working with crime families for decades. Look up the Interceptor Armor fiasco. It's like all buried. It's never going to be on TV is the problem. They act like the mob is gone, like something that existed in the 60s or 50s or something and it was a bunch of Italians, because that's how it's portrayed on Netflix <laughs> or HBO. Wrong. Not 100% wrong. There was definitely an Italian mob syndicate. But <laughs> there's another group, and they're tied to government. And that's how you, you want to win in organized crime. you got to be part of the state. That's all the state is. Get Doug Valentine's book. The CIA has organized crime. 